Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share tips and insights on investing in foreign currencies. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Iraqi dinar and how it could affect your taxes. The Iraqi dinar is the official currency of Iraq, and it has been fluctuating in value over the past few years due to political and economic instability. Some investors have been buying dinars in hopes of profiting from a future revaluation or appreciation of the currency. But before you jump on the dinar bandwagon, you need to be aware of the tax implications of holding and selling dinars. Depending on how long you hold your dinars and how you report your income, you could end up paying a lot more or a lot less in taxes. The main difference is between ordinary income tax and capital gains tax. Ordinary income tax applies to income earned from regular activities such as wages, salaries, commissions, or interest. Capital gains tax applies to income earned from selling or exchanging a capital asset such as a stock, bond, real estate, or in this case, a foreign currency. Ordinary income tax rates are progressive, meaning they increase as your income increases. For the 2022 and 2023 tax years, the federal income tax rates range from 10% to 37% of your taxable income after deductions. Capital gains tax rates are more favorable, and they depend on how long you hold the asset and your income level. For the 2022 and 2023 tax years, the long-term capital gains tax rates are 0%, 15%, or 20% of your net capital gain. So, how does this apply to the Iraqi dinar? Well. It depends on whether you treat your dinars as a capital asset or as ordinary income. If you treat your dinars as a capital asset, you will pay capital gains tax when you sell or exchange them for another currency. The tax rate will depend on how long you hold your dinars and your income level. If you hold your dinars for more than a year, you will qualify for the long-term capital gains tax rate, which is lower than the ordinary income tax rate. If you hold your dinars for a year or less, you will pay the short-term capital gains tax rate, which is the same as your ordinary income tax rate. However, if you treat your dinars as ordinary income, you will pay ordinary income tax on the difference between the value of the dinars when you acquired them and the value of the dinars when you sold or exchanged them. This means that you will pay tax on your dinar income every year, regardless of how long you hold them. This could result in a higher tax liability than if you treated your dinars as a capital asset. To illustrate this, let's look at an example. Suppose you bought 1 million dinars in January 2022 for $1,000, when the exchange rate was 1,000 dinars per dollar. According to Google Finance A Superscript 1, the exchange rate as of December 16, 2023 was 1,317.1090 dinars per dollar. This means that your 1 million dinars would be worth $759.23 in US dollars. Now, let's compare the tax consequences of treating your dinars as a capital asset or as ordinary income. For simplicity, Let's assume that you are a single filer with a taxable income of $75,000 in 2023, excluding your dinar income. If you treat your dinars as a capital asset, you will have a capital loss of $240.77, which is the difference between your cost basis of $1,000 and your sale price of $759.23. You can use this capital loss to offset any other capital gains you have or deduct up to $3,000 of it from your ordinary income. If you have no other capital gains, your taxable income will be reduced by $240.77, resulting in a tax savings of $52.97, based on your marginal tax rate of 22%. If you treat your dinars as ordinary income, you will have an ordinary income of $759.23, which is the value of your dinars when you sold or exchanged them. You will pay ordinary income tax on this amount, based on your marginal tax rate of 22%. This means that your tax liability will increase by $167.03. As you can see, treating your dinars as a capital asset results in a lower tax liability than treating them as ordinary income. However, this is not always the case. If the value of the dinar increases, you could end up paying more in capital gains tax than in ordinary income tax. 
especially if you hold your dinars for more than a year and fall into a higher income bracket. The bottom line is that there is no definitive answer to how you should treat your dinars for tax purposes. It depends on your individual situation, your investment strategy, and your risk tolerance. The best thing to do is to consult a tax professional who can advise you on the best course of action for your specific case. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on foreign currency investing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.